Okay, this is a short video for my good friend Alec and the other guys at Fleet and District Model Aero Club who are interested in seeing my turbine start up for the first time. This is my first turbine. I've been flying EDF and uh, fixed wing models for a number of years, but uh, I've saved up and basically bought this, this turbine which is going to go into my 2 meter Tom Hawk Futura, which I was flying on electric or EDF power. Last year had about 20 pounds of thrust with that unit. This is 32 pounds of thrust, so 50% more power. It's definitely going to fly well with, with that amount of power, so I'm quite looking forward to flying it. This unit, unit is a K140F made by Kingtech. Kingtech are a relatively new uh, company based in Taiwan, new manufacturer of turbines, but they've been going a number of years and they're, they're very highly rated by the people who've bought their, bought their turbines. Very uh, competitively priced as well, which is always a factor when you buy something like this. So next is the fuel tank, a Kevlar unit. You can buy fuel cells made from many other different types of materials, but Kevlar is uh, basically use Kevlar so that in the event of a, of a crash it, it doesn't fracture. If, if you had a fuel cell that did fracture then it leaked the fuel if you did crash then uh, there's a good chance that it would catch fire and and uh, basically damage every everything not just the airframe but potentially all the uh, expensive electronics you have inside the airframe as well so hopefully with that unit um, even if I do crash which I'm hoping I don't then uh, then everything will be okay um, connected to the fuel tank is a composite air trap whose job is to prevent any air bubbles getting through to the to the turbine if you did have air bubbles entering the term turbine on the on the fuel line there's a good chance it would shut down flame out you'd lose power which is not something you want to happen when you're flying the the jet because um, landing without power is a complete nightmare as anybody knows who flies models in general you, you don't want to lose power uh, the composite air trap is made by my good friend Mark Scully at GBR jet uh, they're very highly rated if you uh, if you read up about use of air traps on RC, RC Universe and other forums then a lot of people buy these now so Mark hooked me up with one and uh, I'm sure it'll do the job out of the uh, the fuel tank and the air trap we go to a, uh, a fuel pump here which draws the fuel through uh, a filter we don't want any particles in the fuel getting into the the turbine and damaging it so we have fuel filter here Festo little y, y component here which splits the fuel feed into these two valves the valves go uh, can be switched on and off by the ECU here which controls the turbine operation so the the lower one here the ECU controls during the startup sequence for the fuel line going to the top of the engine here and the main fuel line into the engine here from this uh, top valve. Just going back to the fuel briefly, the, uh, the, the is a mix of paraffin and synthetic turbine oil. So you buy the paraffin uh, in cans like this from a garden centre or B&Q, somewhere like that. It's about £8 for, for 4 litres. And mix that in a bigger 20 litre or 5 gallon tank with 5% or a quart of um, synthetic turbine oil like I've got here which is available from companies like Owls Hobbies or, or Motors and Rotors. The uh, fuel pump and the brushless starter motor which is on the front of the turbine here which is used in the startup sequence are powered by a two cell lipo battery this is 3000 milliamp King Tech recommend 4000 milliamp so I'll have to get something a little bigger for when I start flying diagnostics on the turbine while it's running either on the bench or in the model uh, you can see what's going on with RPM temperature and many other things on this um, data terminal and you can base and you can configure the throttle curve and a number of other things if you need to. Receiver and nickel metal hydride battery powering the receiver. 
uh, and that's basically all the components. So we're about to take it outside and and bolt it down onto a table outside using some fairly hefty bolts. The turbine generates 32 pounds thrust so I really don't want it to move around so it's going to be bolted down tightly with these. And in the event of a fire and I really hope that doesn't happen but in the event everybody who runs a turbine has to be prepared for that then I've got a CO2 fire extinguisher here. Don't, we don't, well, turbine users don't use water or foam or powder based f extinguishers because if any of that type of material got inside the, the turbine you would need to send it back to the manufacturer for a service to get all of that taken out of it before you could run it again. So CO2 basically would stop a fire without needing to send it back for a, for a service hopefully. Okay, so I think that's it. So let's take it outside and fire it up for the first time. I'm just going to put these on Nick's ears because he's a young chap and he needs them. Thank you. Trim full up. Now it's ready to start. Okay, so back inside now, having run the run that uh, first test, and it all went uh, beautifully well. Proves that these days you really can hook these turbines together, and it's not very complicated to do. If you you know if you've been in RC a little while and you can follow the instructions, then even an idiot like me can uh, put one of these things together and make it run. Um, Air trap was fantastic. Actually, not nothing out of that. So I highly recommend those. Um, no no bubbles on the fuel line whatsoever so thanks to Mark for that so now next step is to uh, put the turbine in my in my two meter Futura jet and that's going to take one or two weeks to do and hopefully the next video that I uh, put online will be of uh, the maiden re-maiden flight of my Futura flying for the first time I'll be sure to post that in the future
Thanks for watching.